Hi everybody, this is Angelo Quinones. Now, we come to the topic of parousia. Okay, parousia. And um, I want to come to this topic because it comes sometimes into the conversation with the witnesses. Now, this is a series, praise God. Yasas, by the way, that's Greek for, okay, hello. Okay, yasas, okay. All right, so that's just a deal. Yasu, okay, means hello, but to your buddies and pals, okay. <laughs> so that's just the deal. Kalismera, and that means uh, actually it's not even good morning. Actually, good afternoon. Okay, <laughs> that's another Greek word. But anyway, we have over here recorded in Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse uh, three. Okay, um, parousia. Now we're gonna get to that. And um, I believe it appears it appears in verse 27, uh, 37, and 39. We'll try, try, try to take, take a look at it. And so the word parousia, okay, is used by the witnesses. And they say that it actually means invis invisible presence, okay? Now, this word can mean presence or coming. I agree with that wholeheartedly, okay? But to stick at an, an adverb, okay, into it, um, that he's coming invisibly, meaning invisible, okay, arata, okay, that's not in the text, arata doesn't appear in the text, nowhere does it record in the New Testament that Jesus is going to come invisibly, or make a parousia arata, or arata parousia, an invisible coming, okay, so we're going to look at the word parousia here, let me just read the Greek, it's kind of hard to read right through this stuff, because you have to go like this, and like that, also, but let me see if I can do the best I can with this app, okay? I praise the Lord. By the way, my name is Angelo Quinones. I don't know if I told you that. Okay, and I Am Ministries is a ministry that was founded to actually help people, all right, to get to know their Hebrew and Greek New Testament and Hebrew and Greek Old Testament, okay? The Old Testament is in, is in the Old ex, uh, uh, Contain. The New Testament is in the New Explain. The Old Testament is in the Old Concealed. The New Testament is in the New Revealed. Okay, that's just all there is to it. So let's get to this uh, verse, and we have uh, some more verses to, to look at. And then we're going to uh, read from an article, a 1974 article from the Watchtower Society. Just one year, not even a year, it's about a month. Well, actually, they prophesied the coming of Christ in October of 75. So it's basically almost a year before the predicted date, and that's just all there is to it. That was made around uh, 1968, by the way. Okay, so that is documented. We're going to look at the, the article, uh, The Sign of the Son of Man, where they uh, said specifically that Jesus was going to come invisibly. But let's read this uh, here first, okay? Okay, cafe menu, cafe menu de auto epitu orus uh, ton elion uh, prasel fan auto hoy. And then it says over here, mafetai cut idian uh, legantes epe. He mean very long verse. Pate tauta estai akai te ta. Okay, let's move this up a little bit over here. Semeran teis seis marusias kai. And then it says over here, uh, Sun te leas tu, um, Ionas. Okay, and that's about it. Now, did I see part? Yeah, I did see part over here. Okay, I, I wonder if I read it. So let me just uh, say it again. Semeran uh, teis uh, seis uh, parousias. Okay, so that's the word in question over there, parousia, okay? So let me just uh, give you what all these words uh, has to say. Okay, uh, was sitting, okay, cafe menu. And moreover will be translated first. Okay, that's a post positive, so it'll be moreover. And um, so that's dead, that's a post positive, D E or delta epsilon. 
And then he is al tu. That's in the genitive case, construction, al tu. You know the paradigm? Al tas al tu, al to al tan. Okay? That's a uh, third person personal pronoun from the al tas paradigm. Okay? Not, com not to be confused with who tas, which is, which is a demonstrative pronoun. Now then it says uh, epi, meaning upon. And that's a preposition, one of 17 uh, tiny prepositions in the manual grammar of the Greek New Testament by Dana, Dana and Manti. And then you have the two uh, genitive article and then arus, okay, mount. There's a noun, a genitive uh, neuter singular, okay, uh, uh, spelled out amakon ro, amakon upsilon, and sigma. And uh, then it says a uh, ton of olives so the mount of olives okay so this is in the genitive case construction okay eli on that's plural okay all right uh of olives okay of olives and tone is actually genitive also a genitive article tone tone is from the tone 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 side of the paradigm because all of the genitive plural articles are all tone thank god okay so tone eli on okay and then uh, prasel thon, okay, which means came to, and then auto came to him, okay. Auto is in a dative case, okay. A dative masculine, a third person singular. Auto is dative. You see the iota subscript. The ending of the dative is the iota. It's not the omega, by the way, okay. Just because it's the subscript doesn't mean the omega is is the is the uh, uh, case morphine. You know the the. The overall case morphine of this thing is the iota subscript. And then you have the article ahoy, which means da. And then after that, you have uh, mafetai, okay, disciples. Mafetai, disciples, okay. And uh, so this is a, that's a plural word, okay. And then you have kat, that's just a shortcut, it's an elision, a construction, kat, okay. Um, it means in over here, kat, short for kata, idian, and uh, private. Came to him in private, okay? Because the disciples knew that Jesus is not just going to say, just give out all the secrets of the kingdom to just anybody. You understand what I'm saying? So they knew that they were privileged people because they were the elect people. Not because they were anything, because God made them into something without me you can't do nothing and let me add to that without me you are nothing how about that now saying okay legantes saying uh and they were asking tell or epe okay who mean us and that's in the that's who mean us that's actually a uh first person plural uh pronoun okay he mean that's dative as a matter of fact a chalash, okay. A pate, when, okay, these things, okay, tauta, that's from the hutas paradigm. Okay, tauta is a, is a hutas uh, demonstrative, okay, a pronoun. And you see, you should see the uh, DPRL right over there. Tell us, uh, when these things will be. Now, remember, Jesus said that none of the stones that you see Okay, will remain upon another. You know what I'm saying? Because they were they were excited. Oh wow, Jesus! You know what I'm saying? Look at these buildings. Look at these. Look at the, the, the construction. Oh, it was just beautiful. What a beautiful sight! And Jesus said, "Listen, this stuff ain't gonna last. You understand what I'm saying, son? It ain't gonna last. Will be okay. Estai. Now that's a um, that's a future. Okay, that's a future. There is in the future tense. Estai." And I believe that the sigma is actually the, um, what do you call it? Um, the um, tense formative. And it's pointing out the future tense in the word esti. Okay? Esti. And so will be. Okay? So you just stick will okay, over there in your translation. And there you go. Future tense. Okay? Okay. When these things will be, meaning, you know, the destruction and all that other stuff. You know, the, the disciples are interested in eschatology. And what is, it says over here, chi for an, and t is an interrogative in Greek. Okay? T. Okay? What? Now, equal to the ma in modern Hebrew. Okay? Ma. 
Okay, like what's your name will be what? Ma uh, Shmi, uh, Shim, uh, what is it? Ma uh, Shmiha. Okay, uh, Shmiha. Isn't it? Ma shim, Shimha or let me see, Shimha. Oh, yeah, Ma Shimha. That for, that's for a man. You know, what's your name? And Ma uh, Shmech for a uh, woman. That was that was simple, right? Okay, so t is is like my in modern Hebrew. Okay, what? Okay, t, you know, a disk get a task get. I lost my yellow basket. Now where is it? There you go. So I just and then ta a neuter article. You understand what I mean? Okay, the sign. They want a sign. Simeon. They want a sign. Now taste. Okay, the. Uh, your and that's uh, says okay, says uh, you're coming. There you go, parousias. Let's just stop right there. That's all we need the word parousia is spelled out P alpha rho, omicron, upsilon, sigma, iota with the acute marker and alpha final sigma. Praise God, he gets the glory, not me, not just a you know, little. Parousia. Now, what does parousia mean? Well, over here is translated uh, coming. It also can be translated presence. But guess what, guys? It doesn't say, okay, arata. See, the a ah making, uh, ah, you know, arata negative, meaning invisible. It doesn't say ah, arata parousia. Let me show you where invisible is found in the Bible. Okay? We don't have to go that far. Let's go <laughs> and follow the yellow brick road all the way to Romans chapter 1, verse 20. Okay, guys and gals, check it out. I went too far, and I guess the Watchtower Society are going too far, saying he's going to come invisibly. But anyway, didn't they have that great revival? Uh, you know that what I'm saying? So I wonder if they changed their minds, you know what I mean? No, they did not, guys. Don't tell me that they changed their mind. They didn't change their mind. All right, so let's check this out. Where is Romans, though? Romans chapter um, 2, okay, verse 20. Okay, all right, let me see over here. All right, that's the deal, and that's the deal. Let's check it out. Now, it says over here, ta, the, that's a, a plural uh, neuter article. Okay, uh, indeed, gar. Okay, invisible qualities. Qualities. Now check this out. What is the Greek word for invisible here? It's tagged by the Strong's. It's the second, it's the third Greek word to the left, top, to the top left. Okay. 517. Aarata. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? Now, just in case you don't see aarata in your in your lexicons, well, guess what? The alpha is tagged to aarata. Okay, you understand what I mean? To make it invisible, just in case you don't see it there. Okay? So this means invisible. You might see it in a lexicon. Okay, arata means invisible. This word is nowhere even near. Nowhere even near Matthew chapter 24. I don't remember one time that Jesus even said something that was invisible. Okay? As a matter of fact... The word invisible only is, is only found about four or five times in the New Testament. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? You understand? This time over here, and let's check out, uh, I believe, let me see. I think it's also found in Colossians. Let's check it out. Colossians chapter 1, verse 15, I think, guys. That's another chapter that's kind of famous for the witnesses. I mean, you know, they just can't resist. So let's check it out for them, okay? All right, it says over here, has, that's, uh, what is that? A relative pronoun, has, which means who, uh, is, uh, what is this? Um, uh, Esten is, okay, the image, akon, okay, akon, of the, that's a genitive article, two, you know, uh, there are, um, you know, uh, 24 definite articles, Okay, in the Greek, okay, you know, ha heta, tu te tu, to te to, tan tan tan, 
da, you know, with an Omicron, etc. Okay, so this is do. This is from the genitive part of the paradigm in the singular uh, part of the paradigm. Okay, do, do theo. Okay, of the of the God. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, and then do again. A arat a You see, a aratu. Ow, the tag by five seventeen. It's all the way to the bottom left corner. See, that word is found here. It is not recorded, okay, in Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. Let's check out another uh, time that parousia, okay, or uh, uh, invisible, I should say, is found. Okay, let's check this out. Now, uh, that's just a deal. So let's look at it, okay. Let's poke Colossians there and go to Timothy. First Timothy chapter, I think, verse... Um, uh, chapter 1, verse 17. I believe that's where it is. I hope that's where it is, too. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? Okay, Colossians. Pope Colossians again. Okay, where's Timothy at here? Okay, First Timothy. Okay, and let's poke uh, the 1, because chapter 1 is fine. It's 12, it's 17 that I want to get at. I think it's a 17, if I can remember, if I can recall. Okay, so let's go there. Let's check it out. I hope I'm right. So let's go over here. So that's over here, to, okay, that's, uh, you know, that's a dative article, to de uh, basile, which means king, okay, of the, ton, that's a genitive plural article, um, you know, and then uh, age is ionion, okay, and then uh, afta, um, what is this? Oh, um, aftarto. Okay, um, immortal. I hope I have it here. Okay, there it goes. Arato. Okay. Okay, in the dative. You understand what I'm saying? Dative masculine singular. It's just in another construction, but it's the same word. Okay, invisible only God. Okay. And by the way, there's no article. Ha <laughs> ha There's no article before they all, guys. There's no article before they all. You understand what I'm saying? There's no article. Where's the article? In, 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 listen, where's the article to before? Okay, all right. Let me see before I open up my big mouth. Okay, <laughs> where's the article before they all? I don't see to they all over here. They all means, okay, God, but in the date of case, data epsilon omega with the Yoda subscript and circumflex. Circumflex over the omega has to do with uh, some sort of a change in the word, some sort of a change. <laughs> and the Yoda is underneath the omega. Where's the article? So I want to see. So what? You're going to knock out the idea that he's a uh, god because it doesn't have an article? I think it's just nonsense, guys. Okay, aurato. There you go. Invisible. So that's there. All right, guys, so let's check this out again. Okay, so that's, those are three times that invisible, okay, um, is in the Bible. First Timothy chapter 1, verse 17. Okay, all right. Now, what were the other? Uh, okay, uh, so uh, Colossians chapter uh, 1, verse 15. You understand what I'm saying? Romans chapter 1, verse 20. And that's another one, I think, in Hebrews. Well, I don't want that. Okay, <laughs> it's the deal. All right, you have to have fun when you're making a Bible study, guys. Okay, first Timothy. Now, let's go to Hebrews. Let's poke Hebrews, uh, chapter 11, as a matter of fact, though. And is that what I'm saying? Verse 27, so I'm going to need this, because I don't want to go all the way through. All right, so let me see. Right there. Now, it should be there. I hope it is. Right, let's check it out. Now, it says over here, okay, um, peace day, by faith, okay, katelipen, okay, katelipen, Okay, he left, okay, Egypt. Okay, I goofed on, I goofed on. Not may, okay, having fear, okay, having fear says over here, uh, fabethes, fabethes, we get the word phobia out of that. And then ton, uh, thuman, okay, um, ton means the, and, uh, anger, Tuman. Okay, of the or two. Okay, Basileos, king. Tan again. Okay, and then Gar. I hope this is the thing. 
And th there you go. Araton, invisible. As, okay, seeing. You see, seeing. Invisible. You see that word again? Okay, Araton. That's the deal. And this is in the accusative case uh, construction. Accusative masculine singular. That's why it says an adjective, by the way. A, a D, J, okay, is an adjective. Dash is a dash, okay. And uh, uh, A is in accuse is for the accusative case. This, you know, and then um, and then masculine and singular, and that's just the deal. But Aratas is in Hebrews chapter eleven, verse uh, twenty-seven. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? And it goes on to say, as okay, host, okay, seeing. Horan from the from the from the Greek word horao, by the way. Okay, um let me see. Okay, uh ekarte resen. Okay, uh, 2594. He uh perceived. Okay, he perceived. So this is an aorist tense, uh, aorist active indicative. Okay, this is uh, this is a verb, by the way. Okay, so that's just it, guys. Okay. No, only four times does the word invisible appear in the Greek New Testament. Now, let me give you another time that the word invisible appears. Okay, just one more time. Okay, guys? Can you handle it? One more time. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to the Septuagint. Okay? Come on. Let's go to the Greek Septuagint. Okay, Genesis. Why does it keep on um, stopping at a... Uh, why did it stop at a... Uh, 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 it's beautiful... But Psalm 34, verse, uh, you know, verse 1. I mean, I, I guess because I don't know if I locked it there. But, you know, Thomas said, the Lord of me and the God of me, you know, hakuriasmu, hateasmu. And it probably comes from Psalm 34 in the Greek Septuagint, verse 23. Though it, it, it just says, uh, ha, hateasmu, hakuriasmu. It just turns it around. So you can use that for the witnesses. But I don't want that right now. Okay. I want Genesis. Give me Genesis. Okay? That's what I want. Now, let's check out where, where uh, um, Invisible is in. Okay? Let's check this out. In our K, Epoesen Hate As, Tan Uranan Kai Tain Gain. Let me repeat that. In our K, Epoesen Hate As, Tan. This is very easy to read because it doesn't have the the mishmash, the numbers, and then then all of these exclamations. And I mean, you know, I mean, you know, the Koine app is a wonderful app. Don't get me wrong. It has a lot of parsing in it and stuff like that, but you can just read right straight through the Greek. You don't need to, to go through the numbers and blah 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 and all that other stuff. It's just the Bible over here. Okay, NRK Epoesen Hate As Tan Uranan Kai Tain Gain. Okay, N means in RK can mean beginning. Epoesen is an aorist tense, it means made. Hatheas means the God. Tanuranam is singular. It's a bad translation. It's not supposed to be in a singular. It's supposed to be in a plural. He made the heavens. Okay. Hash Shamayim. Okay. He didn't make just a heaven. Okay. But anyway, Tan Uranan, uh, Tain Gain. Tain Gain means uh, the earth. Gain means uh, earth in the accusative. Gay, G E, or Gamma Eta means earth. Okay. But let's go to verse 2. It says over here, a de gain aoratas. Okay, let's just stop right there. You see that word invisible? The word invisible is describing what kind of what kind what 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 listen. The word invisible is describing the earth, that the earth at that time before God said what he said was invisible, but it didn't mean it, it, it doesn't mean, rather, that, you know, my English teacher taught me to say rather, okay? My mother taught me to say water like water, so that's how I get the, get the accent like that in, in, in a few words here and there, you know. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not that the earth was invisible, that it had no substance. Because it's telling you right here that the earth was invisible. It's telling you that it is. If you know Greek, okay, the word gay, G-E in English, or gamma, eta, means earth, okay, or land. You understand what I'm saying? Was is the Greek word, and you should know it by now. We were studying, okay, John 1, 1, A, B, and C all across the board. Okay, aratas. There you go. Invisible. Thank you. Now, let's get back to, okay, let's get back to, before I give you singing lessons, I mean, I just, you know, 
let's get back to the Coiny Greek app, okay? And let's go to, okay, um, you know, let's go to this time chapter. So you can look at something different while I read. Let's go to Matthew. Let's see over here. Where is this at, doll? Let's go to Matthew chapter 24. You understand what I'm saying? Chapter 24. And let's go to verse 27, because I believe that's where the other time, where the other um, occurrence of parousia, okay, is found. Okay. And um, uh, not paro, uh, I mean parousia. Yeah, parousia. We're not talking about invisible aratas, but parousia meaning coming of presence. Okay. So let's check it out. Now, we were looking up at uh, aratas. Now we're looking at parousia, even though we looked at parousia already. So now it says over here, okay, I'm not going to go through the Greek because that takes a lot of time. Okay, so, um, uh, hosper, hosper gar, hey, okay, as, let me see, astrat, astrape, exer, ketai, apa, apa, I should say. And then it says, uh, anatalon, uh, kai, fanetai, Heos, uh, Dusmon. And see, you have to do all this to read. That's what makes it so difficult and slow. I'm slow anyway. I'm legally blind. I mean, you know. Okay, Hutas Estai, Hey. There it goes, Parousia. Okay, so listen, let me take. Okay, Parousia is translated coming over here, but it's not translating uh, translated into coming in the New World Translation of the Washington Bible Tract Society. So let me just read from their article uh, from uh, 1974, okay? Let's go to um, the Watchtower. Now, I think this is like, I don't know what volume this is. Let me see what volume this is. This is like the collection of like a whole bunch of volumes put together, okay? Because I like the real McCoy. So I this is volume 95. It has hundreds of pages okay more than set almost 800 pages of stuff okay like different articles from that year you understand what i mean so it says over here okay january the first 1974 volume 95 okay number one okay so this has tons of scars of articles oh aren't they so cute uh, <laughs> okay so let's check it out so let's go to um, page 748. I believe that's where the, the page number is, okay? I think that's what the page number is. Let's see if I can find it here. Sometimes it's hard to find the pages on the bottom. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So that's okay. So that's in the 500s. Let's go to the 700s, though. And this is an interesting article. And I'm just, you know, just in case somebody may say, but Angela, won't you prove to me? Okay, that they actually uh, thought this stuff, though. So where are we going to go? We're going to go to this. Page 748. Now, I, 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 okay? I marked down the times where they said, okay, all right, invisible presence and all that other stuff. Now, check this out. This is from paragraph number four. Okay, and that's just the deal. Let's check this out. It says over here, who then will see... Well, the sign of the son uh, of man, says the Watchtower in uh, 19, uh, 60, uh, 1974, as he comes, quote, on the clouds of, of heaven with power and great glory, end quote. Jesus, says the Watchtower and Bible Tract Society, Jesus indicated that all on earth would do so, would do so. And he said, quote, all the tribes of the earth, will uh, beat themselves in lamentation and say, will, and, and they will see the Son of Man, end quote. Matthew chapter 24, verse 30. Now, this is, this, is, this is the line where it says this. Since Christ is now an invisible spirit, okay, is an invisible spirit person human eyes cannot literally see him but they can okay discern his presence okay by the things occurring 
First Timothy chapter six verse sixteen. I guarantee you, you turn to First Timothy chapter six uh, verse sixteen. Doesn't say that he's invisible. He's just invisible. Fit it. Let's go to another text. Okay, quote. Some will discern his invisible presence. Okay, early. Oh, really? You did? Oh, that's why you got the date wrong. That's why. Oh, yeah, I thought so, though. All right, let's go on. <laughs> what do you think you're dealing with? You're dealing with the church. You understand what I'm saying? The church knows better than this nonsense, okay? Nonsense. You understand what I'm saying? I remember when I was in school, before I get to page uh, uh, 749, I remember when I was in school, and that was a long time ago, guys. I mean, I was in the 80s. You understand what I'm High school, I'm talking about. You understand? When, uh, the, 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 what are the, what are the, uh, the kitchen uh, supervisors, uh, Melissa uh, Reed, Reed <laughs> said, ain't going to be that now this year. Yeah, right. This year, and that goes for Angelo, this year there ain't going to be any more shenanigans going on. What to God that we would have this in all the churches. You understand what I'm saying? No more shenanigans. No more uh, books and teachers' dirty looks. You understand what I'm saying? For the tower. For the tower. All right, check this out. That the Son of Man is invisibly, okay, present, and that, okay, and that destruction of this uh, system of things is near. Now, I agree that to us he's invisible now. We can't see him now. You know, I agree with that. Let's go to another one where it says about the invisible thing. It says the uh, chosen ones, okay, and their um, and their companions having been, okay, clearly identified and uh, brought under the invisible, okay, protection, okay, of the king. Okay, all right, so let's go to another one. Let's check this out. Now it says over here, into God's new uh, order, because of, uh, of, I guess because of what? Because of exercising faith in the, okay, messianic kingdom, okay, and uh, discerning Christ's invisible presence, okay? Now they mean that he's invisible, period. Not that he's just invisible, okay, in the church, okay? I can deal with invisible and all that stuff. When you're talking about him me not seeing now, in a sense, that he's invisible. You understand what I'm saying? Just like God is invisible, okay, to us because we can't see him. But it, on page 748, they did say the invisible, that he will come invisibly. I mean, it's just, there's no excusing that. Now, it says over here for just as now on page, I am on page, okay, now what's the page? Okay. The page is, oh, 704, uh, 750, so let's, let's, let's check it out. So it says over here, quote, for just as the lightning comes out of, okay, eastern parts and shines over the western parts, okay, so the presence of the Son of Man will be, okay, wherever the uh, carcass is, there the eagles will be gathered together. Now, let me just comment on this, okay? They say that we're feeding on Christ, meaning the carcass, the dead carcass, you know, the dead animal is actually Christ. And and, and not we, because I'm not in the tower, but they're feeding on that carcass. They're feeding on Christ. First of all, Jesus is not a dead carcass, okay? Yes, Jen! Not a dead carcass. That interpretation is bogus. You understand what I'm saying? Is bogus like like apple pie that you left in there, like like no, like turkey that you left in a refrigerator from last year. You understand what I'm saying? Stale. Stink. That's what it is. It stinks. You understand what I'm saying? So Julius Armanti said about, you know, Galaska Galastic Punk. Now, now, so that this is the deal. What Jesus is talking about, the, the eagles gathering together, that, listen, if there's a dead body outside, a carcass, an animal, I don't care what it is, a bull, anything, is a guarantee that there, there are eagles around, is a guarantee they're going to be flying around that carcass in a manner of minutes. It's a guarantee. So it is a guarantee that Jesus will return again 
as is it is a guarantee that eagles will fly to a dead carcass. It's not calling Jesus a dead carcass and you're feeding on a dead carcass, no. But that's how the Watchtower Society interprets things. You know, it's a nonsensical in interpretation. So it says over here, so... Da, 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 da. Okay, so let's go to another thing. When Christ uh, would return in an invisible presence. See, that that's, says it right there. Says it right there in, okay, let me see. One, two, three. The third paragraph on page, okay, 750. It says, I'm proving to you before I go on with the Greek, they did they, they teach this. It says, when Christ uh, would uh, return in an in invisible presence, he would not come as a man, okay, on earth. Therefore, okay, Christians, okay, should not, okay, look for him, quote, well, in the wilderness so that, okay, they could, a train with him in some, uh, uh, what is this over here? In some out, uh, in some out of the way place for a, a revolution, nor should, nor would he be in uh, some secret, okay, inner a chamber. But wait a minute, didn't you say that you did the Watchtower is the inner chamber? It's a secret place? And right here, you're, you're defeating your own purpose and saying that because you say, that he ain't going to be in, in a secret chamber. But you taught in yesteryear that the Watchtower Society is the secret place. So you're lying. You're lying. You're lying to your people. You said it was a secret place. And it ain't the secret place. Because over here you said that the secret place stinks. Because if you go to the secret place and say that Christ is there, you understand what I'm saying? You're You're lying. And you shouldn't do it because Jesus told you not to go to a secret place. And he warned you. He warned us about secret places. And yet the Watchtower Society, who stinks, okay, said and called themselves a secret place. You think I was going to let you get away with that? Eh? Inner chamber. Oh, I thought so, though. But anyway, that's uh, listen, that is sufficient. Okay, because I don't know when this thing is going to end because I, I don't have a lot of, uh, you know, room on my phone. You know what I'm saying? I guess I have to go to a secret store and get another battery. I mean, you know, or get some more memory. Oh, yeah, the, remor the memorial tombs, you know. Yeah. All right, so that's just the deal. Now, over here in verse uh, 27, it says, Parousia doesn't say Aratas, doesn't it, guys? Does Do you see anywhere, anywhere over here? That, that it says parousia, huh? Uh, aurata. Do you see anywhere where it says aurata here? Nowhere. Nowhere. This is recorded. Let's go on, though. Okay? Let's go to verse 30, uh, 37. Let's go and see. <laughs> Let's check it out. Let's check it out. All right. So it says over here in verse 37 where parousia, I think, uh, uh, occurs again. Okay, Hosper, Hosper Gar Ahai, uh, that's a feminine article, by the way, Ahai, uh, 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 and um, uh, Hemerai to uh, Noe. And then it says uh, Hutos, and then um, uh, Estai He Barusia, there you go again. Is, is invisible around there? Ha! Is invisible around here. Okay, is invisible here? That's what I want to know. Is invisible with parousia anywhere, either before parousia or after parousia? Is it? Is it there? I want to know. Is it there? It's not there. You've been lying through your teeth for centuries. I'm not arguing that parousia can be in presence. Okay, but. Listen, parousia, when it's, listen, when it's used parousia, that means like a prolonged presence, a prolonged, okay, visit. That's what it means. You understand what I mean? Like when Paul used parousia, man, he used it. He used parousia, as a matter of fact, though. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I thought so. Just like when you say, ah, oh, well, the Holy Spirit is not a person because he can't be poured, okay? Can't be poured out. Yeah, and that's what Paul said, that he was going to be poured out. Yeah, I thought so, though. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That'll be another text, though. I mean, I can't wait to get into that. Okay, so that's Parousia. Now, I think that Parousia occurs one more time in uh, Matthew 24. Uh, I hope it's here. 
Okay, I hope so. I hope, I hope, I hope. <laughs> okay, it says over here, Kai Uk, okay, egg, uh, let me see, uh, egg no son, okay, he os, el ven, aha, uh -huh. and then it goes on to say, uh, kata, uh, clu, uh, smas, kata clus mas, kai, uh, eren, okay, japantas, okay, jutos. Then it goes down to say over here, okay, estai kai he parusia, okay? I'll give you a big mwah if you repent. How about that? You know what I'm saying? That's the watchtower. Parusia, again, tagged by 3,952. Aarata doesn't appear anywhere around here. It doesn't shake. Invisible presence. It doesn't say invisible coming. You understand? It doesn't say it. So why you're a big filthy liar if you teach it? If you teach it to your mother, if you teach it to your father, if you teach it to your son, if you teach it to your daughter, if you teach it to your husband, if you teach it to your wife, if you teach it to your grandson, if you teach it to anyone. You're a stinking liar, and you're the carcass that the that God is gonna deal with. How about that? Parousia. Invisible doesn't appear anywhere with Parousia. Anywhere across the board. Anywhere. You understand? Anywhere at all. Now, let's get vines because I want to see. Okay, I want to see where invisible is found for Paul. Okay. Now let me see. Now, I hope I can find it. Okay? Let me get vines in this in this uh, situation, okay? Because he's good with this. All right? So, vines, okay? Because he knows that we're going to, we want to find out, okay? <laughs> we want to find out about, you know, invisible this, invisible that. You understand what I'm saying? So, these are the H's, okay? Hope everybody's doing well, by the way. I didn't say that. Okay, so um, H I. Okay, why am I going backwards? So the I comes at the H. I like the tower. I don't know my ABCs for God's sakes. All right, invisible. Okay, M N. So actually, you shouldn't see invisible. So that's I N D, I N H, V. Okay, let me see. Okay, inside. So I am int intent, okay. Um, it should be around here someplace. Let me see. Invisible. Let's see here. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's I V, I S. Okay. Let me see. It should be after um that T I N T. Okay. I N T again. Okay. I N T E. Let me see, where is this thing at though? Okay, invisible, invisible, invisible. Let's see here. Okay, let me check it off. I'll get it, guys. Invisible. It's invisible to me. I can't see it, right? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So let me see if it vines does have it. He should have it though. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Oh, here it goes. Okay, <laughs> understand? So it says over here, Aorata. Oh, no, I'm not even looking for invisible. And what am I looking Oh, Parousia. I'm sorry about that, guys. Parousia. That's what I'm looking for because I'm studying the two words, so I'm just, I got confused. Okay, so Parousia is a P. Okay, so let me just see over here. Okay, I'll get it soon. Okay, Parousia will be P, A. Parousia, P, A. Let me see how you spell that. Let me take this app over here, guys. Okay, be patient. You who are patient will be rewarded. Okay, parousia. Okay, I got the spelling now. Paru. Okay, so P A R O U. Okay, paru. So um, let me see over here. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I guess coming or presence though. Let me see, uh, presence, a P R E. Let me see here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this, okay, and then I'm going to come back to you guys so that way you don't have to wait too long. Let me just pause it, okay? Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so let me just pause it there. I'm coming, presence, let's say presence, P, presence. P-R-E, presence, 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 P-R-E, P-R, okay, presence on. Okay, see over here. X. All right, so. More man. Puddle C was Puddle C, yeah. Puddle C, okay, there it goes. Puddle C, yeah. So I see coming, C O M I N G. Coming. C O M I N G, C O M I N G, C O M I N G, C O M. All right, let's see here. Okay, so C O M I N G here calls. Okay, um. Okay. Okay, so I think, I hope I, um, I don't know if I'm still recording though, that's the problem. Let me see. What does it have, what does it, so let me see. Okay, let me see here. Okay, I think it's recording now. Okay, so good. So I hope it's recording. Oh, please, I hope it's recording, Lord. Okay, so um, Vines has Parousia in two places for presence and coming. Okay, now 100, and page 111 has coming. Now, it has a Greek word, okay? Let me read it in Greek because I don't like reading in English. Esadas, okay? That's one Greek word. And then it has another one, okay? Alusis, uh, alusis, okay? And then it has the third one, okay, which is our word, parousia. Tagged by uh, 3952, literally, quote, a presence, okay? Para means with and... Usia means being, okay, from, okay, Amy, to be, okay? So actually, uh, parousia means with being or, mit, or with, okay, um, meaning to be. Denotes, okay, both an arrival and a consequent uh, presence with, end quote. With, uh, for instance, in a papyri, in a papyri letter, a lady speaks of the necessity of her, quote, parousia in a place in order to attend to matters relating to her property there. Now, ha, how about that? Now, the woman, just because she made a parousia, okay, to pay her bills, you know, it doesn't mean that she was invisible in that place. You understand what I'm saying? Now, check this out. Paul, says Vines, Paul speaks of his <clears throat> parousia in Philippians, uh, in Philippians, okay? In Philippi, I should say. Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Okay? In, uh, in contrast to his apousia, quote, his absence. You see? Apousia means absence. His parousia means presence. Okay, C, okay, absence, it says over here. Other words denote, quote, the arrival, okay, C, okay, esadas, and elusis, above. Aparosia is used, okay, to uh, describe the presence of Christ with his uh, disciples on the Mount of Transfiguration, okay, Okay, Second Peter chapter one verse uh, sixteen, when uh, used of the return of Christ 
at the rapture of the church, it signifies not uh, not merely his momentary a uh, momentary okay coming uh, for his saints, but his presence with them from that moment until his revelation and manifestation to the world. In some uh, passages, the word gives, okay, prominence to the beginning of that period. The curse of the period being implied. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 23. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 15. And chapter 5, verse 23. And 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 6. And James chapter 5, verses 7 and 8. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 4. Okay, now in some, the course is uh, prominent. Matthew chapter 24, verse 3 uh, and 37. 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 13. 1 John chapter 2, verse 28. In others, okay, the uh, conclusion of the uh, period. Matthew chapter 24, verse 27. And 2 Thessalonians chapter 28. The word is also used of the lawless one, or the lawless one, okay? The man of sin, okay? His access to power and, okay, his doings in the world during his parousia, okay? Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 9. I want you to know, I think that, that's enough for now. About the Antichrist, just ask the witnesses if he's going to make an invisible presence, meaning the Antichrist. I don't think so. He's going to be a visible being, okay, all right? And people are going to see the Antichrist. You understand what I'm saying? He's going to bargain with uh, with uh, Israel and then betray his, uh, Israel, but he is going to be a visible being. And his use of the Antichrist, okay? But I'll see ya. You understand what I'm saying? That's just food for thought. This is Angelo Quinones giving glory to God the Father through the Lord Jesus Christ. When we actually see, okay, when we actually see the parousia, the visible, okay, the visible presence or coming of Yahweh, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thank you.